Well, you can tell those 72 Dolphins to keep that champagne chilling. In the Battle of the Birds, Philly flies high, now 5-0 and after a 2017 win that saw a would-be game-tying field goal go wide right for the Cardinals, a team that struggled to find any offense this season. Kyler Murray throws it 42 times. That's 250 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Did 42 more with his legs. Jalen Hurts, speaking of legs, two more rushing touchdowns to add to his growing total, 239 through the air to go with his 61 on the ground as well. All right, sticking our teeth into this one with the two-time Super Bowl champ Bryant McFadden and Ryan Wilson. Guys, when we talk about this Eagles team, we talked about it last week, winning in different ways, and here they do it again a little bit differently on this given Sunday. Maybe we could think back to the Week 2 win over, uh, I believe it was the Vikings, in which they gave up just seven points here. But this is a defensive win for this Philadelphia Eagles team. How much more confidence do they get from this sort of win and not just racking up points, BMAC? I think they gain a lot of confidence. And if you want to go back to last week's ball game, Joe, remember it was the defense that jump started that comeback against the Jacksonville Jaguars. They were able to force turnovers and give Jalen Hurts and his crew a favorable field position to put points on the scoreboard. So that's something that I'm starting to notice with this team. Their defense, especially with the way they're flowing to the ball, looking at creating pressure, sacking the quarterback, uh, um, making things happen in, in regards to turnovers. This is a defense that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any offense in the National Football League based on what I've seen so far this season. And then the offense, they come along. And what I'm seeing also, too, guys, another fast start, but a slow start in the second half. We're not seeing the same chemistry in the second half uh, from the Jalen Hurts and the offensive guys mm -hmm. based on what we saw in the first half. But I like what I'm seeing because this team – they are showing us they can win in so many different ways. And, and with style points, they can win ugly in ugly conditions, and they can just win it out in a rock fight. And today was like a rock fight type effort for them, and they prevailed. Yeah, you mentioned two important things there, BMAC. You talked about the defense playing well and carrying the offense at times. They had a huge need of safety going into the, the season. They went out and got Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. He got an interception today. That's a huge thing in helping out your offense, who was at times struggling. The other thing you noted is that sometimes that offense for Philadelphia sputtered. Uh, it also sputtered on the other side of the ball for the Cardinals, which isn't something new. And uh, the first four drives, the Eagles were up 14-0 after going touchdown, punt, touchdown. On the other side, with the Arizona Cardinals, punt, interception, punt, punt. The average of those four drives was four and a half plays per drive. And again, another slow start for that Arizona team, which isn't a surprise given that Cliff Kingsbury explains that every single post-game press conference. And I'll say this also, Joe, talking about BMAC. Mm -hmm. He was in Pittsburgh 2005-2008. That 05 team and that 08 team both went to the Super Bowl and both leaned in large parts of the season on that defense to carry them. And that's a huge help to an offense that's finding its way, whether it's the middle of the season because of injuries, early in the season because you're figuring things out, or late in the season because you need to win a football game. And the Eagles, as you know, Joe, are finding different ways to win these football games. And that's only going to build confidence with the young quarterback. Well, if we're talking early aughts, the Eagles 5-0 for the first time since 2004 uh, as they move forward and try and keep perfection alive. We'll see how they do it next week. But when we talk about this Arizona team right now, guys, you mentioned it, Ryan, in Cliff Kingsbury and some of the shortcomings of this ball club. But I think they're most accurately described by eight consecutive losses at home. I mean, can you speak to something like that? It's a number that's jarring. Hasn't <laughs> occurred for that franchise since the 50s when they were in Chicago. Ryan, is this more of an inefficiency in coaching, execution, all of the above? What do you take away from it? I'm laughing because you had to get the Chicago jab in there, Joe. It wasn't even the Bears. Uh, the Bears were good losses. back then. My, so, my grandparents. Uh, that's right. It was the Cardinals' fault. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, you know, BMAC talks about this all the time when we talk about uh, the, the Cardinals in particular. Coach isn't preparing them. Who else are you going to point the finger at? If the coach isn't prepared – and the players play like a coach that hasn't prepared them, where are you going to – I mean, that's where the bottom line is for me. And Cliff Kingsbury, I say it all the time, we get blinded by the man's handsomeness. Uh, he ain't a good coach right now, and he hasn't been a good coach uh, usually in the second half of the season. They're without DeAndre Hopkins for, the, for another game here, six-game suspension. Uh, usually they're pretty good at the beginning of the season, but we, they've been up and down. Kyler's been good at times, and he's done a lot of head-scratching things at times. And I, and I think the, the lack of discipline on this team across the board shows up in key moments, and it costs them football games. Where am I pointing the finger? Cliff Kingsbury, that, that's where, it, that's where the, the, the buck stops for mm -hmm. me because he doesn't have this team prepared what feels like every single week. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, when you talk about seeing the team not be prepared, 
the sense of urgency. They're not playing with a lot of energy on both sides of the football. It, it, it all starts with the head coach, and they have to find a way uh, to change the direction of their program where they're going because if it if they don't get better, they, they will be everyone's homecoming opponent, to say the <laughs> least. And that could be home or away based on the stat that Joe gave us because when they play at home, it's like they're a road team. They don't like playing at home because they can't win at home. So that's another telling sign on the staff as well. And they have talent. They have talent. We've seen Kyler Murray throughout his professional career do some pretty good things to showcase that he can lead teams, uh, a team to victories. But we're not seeing that. It seems to be a disconnect with the quarterback. It seems to be a disconnect with the quarterback and play caller. And because of that, this, this has been a disappointing year, to say the least. And get this, guys. The NFC West is wide open. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want it, you can go get it because everyone's pick in the Los Angeles Rams they don't look like they can be a competitive team moving forward, especially with the Wolves on the offensive line. So that division is wide open. Heck, Seattle can put their name in the card and say, yes, we got a fighting chance. And if you would was to say that last, what, two months ago, I'd say, no, nah, that's not happening. But based on what we're seeing, it's wide open for the Cardinals. I think they're the worst team in the division right now. It's not a crazy thing to say. Remember two years ago, Tampa wins it on their home field last year. L.A. wins it on their home field. A lot's going to have to change to keep that streak alive this year in Arizona. Thank you, guys. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.